Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit a portrait photo using the brand new collection from SleekLens and that is called Winter Illuminated. So I have this photo right here, it's a really good photo and, and you can see that uh, in this portrait there, she's holding her hands out like she's catching snow, uh, she's got snow in her hair but there's you can actually see hardly any snow falling at all. So I want to amplify that, plus I also want to add some uh, basic uh, adjustments to her as well like uh, smoothing out the skin, maybe a, a vignette to dr draw your eye into the photo. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, have the winter illuminated actions installed. I have those installed right here, so I'm going to go to window, actions. You can see I have Sleek Lens Winter Illuminated Collection. I'm just going to expand that and you can see all of the awesome adjustments that you can do and there's tons of combinations that you can do here. Uh, but the first one I'm going to start out with is the Smooth Skin Brush right here. So I'm going to click the Smooth Skin Brush and click the play button. So you can see we get this message here that says adjust the brush and layer opacities as needed to smooth the skin. And so I'm going to click OK here, right? I'm going to click continue. You can see we have a layer mask here and what that does is allows me to paint on there with a white brush to apply the effect. And so I'm just going to uh, zoom in here to the face. And so right now the, uh, the effect is not applied until I start painting. So I have a basic brush here. I got my foreground color to white and I'm just going to paint over the face here and you can see it's very slowly and very steadily uh, put, uh, doing a smoothing effect to the skin. So I'm just going to paint real quick around this face and uh, then we'll see what happens here. All right, so just like that, you can see as I toggle it off, you can see that's the uh, natural skin there, but when I toggle it on, I got smooth skin, and that's one cool brush that you can apply. And so if you zoom out and you still think it might be too much, you can actually just lower the opacity, and you can uh, kind of blend it in a little bit more to see what you, uh, what you like best here. So I'm gonna keep mine right around 80, and so that's my uh, skin smoothing effect. And now I'm gonna highlight the background layer again, and I'm gonna apply a fake HDR uh, preset here. So I'm going to click that one and click the play button. And as you can see, it kind of toned down the image a little bit. I got more detail back here. I got more detail in the shadows here. And uh, the hair is actually brightened up a little bit. So we, if we toggle that off, you can see it's really bright back there. But we toned it down a little bit with the HDR so we can get more detail back there. So now the next effect I want to do is I want to do a dark vignette. So I'm going to click the background layer once more and do dark vignette and I'm going to click the play button. And you can see all that does is just darken the edges around here real quickly, but it draws your eyes in more towards the, the, the model, which is the subject, and that's what you kind of want. So now that we've got the basic edits applied, now we're going to apply a snow brush. And so I'm going to create a blank layer here, and with my snow brushes installed, I'm going to click on the brush picker here. I'm going to go all the way down, and I know the one I want to use is this snow brush right here. So as you can see, you can see all these small dots and large dots, these very dot, dots here. And I just want to kind of size it down to the size of the frame here, roughly. So right around there. And with my foreground color to white, all I'm going to do is one click. And you can see that's the uh, that's the snow that's kind of falling there. And it actually looks pretty cool. I actually like the way it looks. Uh, one thing I can do is I can actually add more dots, more snow, by doing another click. Uh, or I can uh, make it kind of fall a little bit, look like it's falling a little bit more down fast uh, and it's actually falling whereas it's frozen in the air right now. So what I'm going to do is click on that layer, that snow layer, go to filter, blur, motion blur, and you can see it kind of gives that motion there, but we're going to make it fall straight down pretty much. And we're also going to lower it a little bit, lower the distance a little bit so it's not as blurred. We still want to see a little bit of the uh, snow there, so I'm going to click right there, click OK. And you can see that is our snow. So let me go back here, toggle that off, and toggle that on. That is our snow. Now one thing you can do, if it's distracting a little bit to have it in front of her face, you can actually make a layer mask, get, the, uh, uh, get a regular black brush. So I'm going to go over here, pick my brushes up get a regular brush here, size it down a little bit, make sure my color is black, and all I'm going to do is paint away where I want the snow not to be. So I'm going to do it right over the eyes, right there, maybe kind of right there, uh, and just kind of play around with it. If I, if I like the way it was, I can obviously paint it back with the white, or I can take the opacity of my brush down and the flow down, and I can still paint it away, but it'll be a little less, uh, less opaque. So roughly right around there. So I like the way that looks. So let's look at our before and after. So I'm just going to group all of these edits together. I'm going to select them all, hit Command or Control G 
to put all of them in one group and now I'm going to toggle that off. So this is our before photo. It's a decent looking photo, but when I toggle it on, you can see all the cool effects that were applied and uh, it really makes the photo stand out from a normal snapshot. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to edit a portrait photo using the new collection from Sleek Lens, which is called Winter Illuminated. Head on over to sleeklens.com to learn more about this collection. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.